I think there is this kind of um, element of it's almost like Dillinger has its own uh, if you were to personify Dillinger as like one person thing you know whatever I think there's just kind of a uh, like the, a Venn diagram and everything in the middle you know whoever's in the band the, the, the fan perspective the you know that kind of other level of metaphysical museness wherever all of that overlaps is what Dillinger is and I think we all kind of silently answer to what we think that is you know and what how we define that I stepped into something that already existed so the ball was already rolling you know I wasn't like I was in another band who freaked out on stage and they were like that's the guy you know it was nothing like that and I didn't join the band because it was like oh my god these guys are freaking out you know like that's just a bonus um, to me it was just like you know not simply the music and not simply the live thing it was just like what that actually means in a um, cerebral way like this is this is saying something else um, it was very punk it was very middle finger it was very you know et cetera, et cetera, all the things that everybody says about it all the stereotypes yes I tip my hat to most of them um, but it's it wouldn't be that without it. You know, I think that, you know, Dillinger without the live show is not, not to say it's not special, but it's, you kind of need both. You know, they're the yin to the yang or something like that. Uh, and um, I don't necessarily know if at this point I could play that stuff in front of people and stand still. No. Like, yes, of course, sound checks are, you know, calmer. Band practice is a lot more um, studious, but I I can't ever imagine getting on stage and not wanting to freak out, you know, and not kind of wanting the um, just that that electricity, you know. It kind of something else happens, you know. Those four stick clicks start, and I kind of evaporate out of my body, and I'm just a witness to it too, you know. I'm just kind of on autopilot, and I'm very aware, you know. It's not like I'm blanking out and. You know, being possessed. It's just kind of like, wow, this other thing takes over and all of a sudden that's, that Clark Kent outfit drops and I'm Superman for a minute. I don't know what it is and I don't really think that I've intellectualized it a lot. It's not like I sit around and choreograph this stuff. You know, over the years, like, a foot tap has just turned into, <laughs> you know, this very... Um, Visceral is the word, but just this this body thing, um, and I don't know. How, I don't know. It's 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 really hard to be objective about it because it's not. Again, it's not necessarily something I've planned. It's just kind of evolved. Yes, there is a part of me that like is aware of it, and then I'm just kind of like, oh, I'm just gonna exaggerate it a little bit. But in a sense, it's almost, you know, I look at somebody like a, like a Tom Waits. I'm a big Tom Waits fan. Mm -hmm. And I love, in a sense, that he's always been this character. And maybe in the beginning it was a bit of a fake it till you make it character. But eventually he just grew into this thing. You know, and he was smart. He made his thing kind of old manish, mm -hmm. So that he had to get there. You know, and I think that a lot of peers are trying to stay young and punk, you know? And then it just kind of looks old and shabby. It doesn't age well. Uh, because it didn't sort of evolve naturally. I think we throw down harder than we ever have. I'm not getting any younger, you know? But it just feels, you know, maybe, I don't know. I, it's so hard to really, I don't know, explain it. <coughs> because some of it sounds just like, just ridiculous and sort of egotistical or like whatever um, you know anytime a fan is like hey you guys gonna jump off the balcony tonight if like they even get in our ear you know I walk <laughs> past somebody it almost makes us want to be like no. no tonight I'm just gonna stand still let's get chairs yeah let's get <laughs> chairs you know and again you can't you know even if I say I'm gonna do that ten minutes later I'm like I can't stand still yeah. right um, 
but it's like I don't want it to ever feel like that. I don't, um, and I also, uh, you know, again, like there's this part of it where yes, we throw down even harder than we ever did, and this feels more natural, and I'll always have the stamina to do this. I can't. I I feel like I could be in a wheelchair, and if I heard those four stick clicks, I'd get up and run around like I just got out of a Pentecostal, you know, faith healing or something. Somebody else once said, um, as we got off stage, they were like, you guys need anger management. And I was like, that is anger management. So what's been your favorite song to play on this tour or, and maybe also like generally? This tour, um, I really like Symptom, Symptom of Terminal Illness. I, uh, you know, we have so many like bashers and so many kind of like, hey, check this out, you know, and I think that that is still saying something and it's still something, I do still have something to prove. <coughs> But I also kind of like this like, let's just write a good song. Or like, let me, um, I've given, you know, up and coming bass players enough to chew on if they want to, you know, learn from what I've done. I think it's a lot cooler to kind of give them something that they could play, you know, at almost any level. And just give it be, you know, I just kind of would rather it be more clever. And I think that there's a couple little like clever things in that song. I think that Greg really shines. I love the fact that we wrote a sort of slower tempo song that didn't have the typical Dillinger heavy breakdown. It has, you know, instead of a heavy breakdown, it pulls back and goes the other way. It gets even softer, it gets more croony, it gets more sentimental, it gets more like intimate. In a sense, I think that's like one of the coolest things we've done. Um, and I really like, you know, that presentation, um, especially when it's mixed in with everything else, mm -hmm. you know, it kind of gives it context and it's like, yeah, man, we just, we just shredded X, Y, and Z. We're going to shred you in a different way. You know, I think that a lot of our music kind of hits people in the eyes and the brain. And I think this one kind of hits people in the gut or in the heart. And I like that kind of, you know, cut you down every way. Um, So that's that's something that I'm really into. Uh, yeah. yeah. On this tour, it's that one. 